welcome back hobby table collector's home so today we are getting caught up in a lot of our boxes and everything so we have now this is the bam box which actually lately they've been sending in these in envelopes so i guess it's the bam envelope but this is actually july so i know we're coming up to the end of august um a little behind on things but uh, the way the band box works is it's 34.99 starting off they do have some boxes higher this is the geek one and generally it's a subscription box at the uh, beginning of the month you get charged and at the end of the month they close the ordering down and it ships out the following month so this would have shipped out at the beginning of august sometimes at the end of july or at the beginning of august they ship them out that would that's how this past month's one would have worked so again, this is the Geek Box, and what's in them for about $35 is you get an autographed photo. Uh, it's authenticated, usually by Beckett. That alone is worth about $20, bucks. so that, that's pretty good. So you get the photo, the autographed photo, uh, usually a prop replica, a pin. Uh, sometimes they've been having a little card things there. So you get about four or five different items in this for about $35. Bucks. Like I said, that's what they start off at. Which isn't bad, like I said, considering on the autograph itself, that's about what the money's right there. I mean, if you go to a convention to get an autograph, the average price is about 60 bucks. And then the another 10 to 20 to get it authenticated, depending on who who's authenticating it and the services they have available at the time. So the money is here right off the bat, and they are they do have some pretty good autographs. Alright, so again. It looks like they've moved out of the boxes. Temp I don't know if it's temporarily or if this is what they're doing. Um, I do feel that they have a cardboard here and a cardboard here. The only thing I do not like about this is, of course, if it gets a beating or anything presses down, this is side okay. But, you know, like I said, there is a pin in here, an enamel pin. They do have backings on them, so if anything were to press down on this, anything it pushes on, it's going to damage it, depending on how they had a package. So I don't know what happened, why they don't have the box anymore. I could have just missed that though, but anyway. So again, this is was July's. Um, I forgot what the franchise was, and here's how it comes in. So they do have that, and you can see it's already taken a pretty good beating. So, like I said, and in the box they used to have that would not have happened. But and as it comes out of that, the pin is on the outside. With that facing up so that's good so if anything happens that part is not going to press down on it and then they had one more piece which looks like i don't know if it just fell out between the backing or if it was on there but that's we'll start off right there that's the card and this is some sort of project that promo cards that they're doing me i'm not a collector of these so I, I don't like these too much but i mean the case these are nice cases i've used these cases i've picked them up and uh you know for other purposes and they're they're good quality case now the past cards didn't come in these but like I said and there's the uh, it's a project act I'm not, project X promo I'm not familiar with who all that is or what's going on now this will be our last box with them for a while because we're just moving on to other things so obviously one of the themes was he man and uh, the pin here looks like it is from the um Oh god, I'm drawing a blank on the games where they were doing games and they were killing them. Why did I forget the name of that? Because I'm just now recording and I'm drawing a blank on it. You know, that was the uh, red light, green light. It'll come back to me probably after I'm done. Huh. Alright, so as we open it up, here is the card. So the autograph, ooh, is going to be from Sinbad and looking at it from, um, what is it, Jingle All the Way? See, I told you the autographs are here and worth it. I actually saw a private signing that somebody was doing for Sinbad. And let me tell you, the cost was more than the $34, $34.99 this cost. So, hey, that's really good. Uh, let's see, the July promo cards. There they were. And the next is from Justin Froning, Stranger Things. So it's a Stranger Things print. And, of course, the Squid Games. I just drew a blank on it. And it had a variety, variants of different type pens and everything. And the autographs are authenticated through Beckett. So, so here is the Stranger Things print, which is actually pretty cool because there's another company that has some uh, private signings going on through some of the cast members through Stranger Things. So this could be something I could add to the list of possibly sending in. I do like to get these prints signed. 
I have a few different ones that I've gotten signed and they are it's it's interesting because this is only limited to 2500 prints on this variant so you know all right so here is the Sinbad ah, that is from Jingle All the Way fun movie if you've never seen it so that's pretty cool so uh, Sinbad's and it is JSA authenticated not JSA sorry Beckett authenticated like I said that alone can cost about 20 bucks around about there 15 20 depending on what they may have going on and based on the signature so and this was $35 $34.99 it's all right here cost in this and that's that's a pretty good good photo to get Sinbad like I said you don't get just get some guy in the background you didn't know about you know this isn't like the uh, like some guy that was chasing the little balls with with them to try to get the uh, character thing it's, it's well known main characters all right so that's what we have on the BAM bag like I said I don't know why they went to that though but luckily nothing's damaged it's all in good shape I don't see anything no issues so it, it still came good though but it was running in my opinion a high risk to ship it like that but they at least did take the necessary precautions like I said they put this on the outside with the pin facing up so it's not down and so if something hit it it would have damaged that you know they took those precautions so I do give them that that's always good because that does is one of the things that makes businesses like this quality in two aspects the quality of the merchandise especially when it's signatures and the quality of your shipping meaning is it going to be protected to re to get to the oh I just now noticed this does have a little bend from that little box bend I just caught that so again, if this was in the box like they used to ship them, this would not have happened. So, even though they took the precautions, it still took a beating, even in these, even with these. That's why I really don't like these type of cardboards, because they are flexible, very pliable, and they, you know, they don't offer a substantial amount of protection. But they do offer some. I'm pretty sure this could have been far, far worse. But I don't know why it's not in the boxes anymore. You can see it right there. There is a match increase on there. You can see it there. So that did get damaged in their BAM box. <laughs> the bag. It would have been if it was a box. It would have survived a little more. But, you know, hey, I don't know why they're doing that. Again, what I was saying is quality of the shipping, meaning what precautions are you taking knowing that you can have damages during shipping. You really got to think about that to protect your goods going to your customers especially when it's collectibles you want them to be in a condition that you put ship them out to them and not get completely destroyed yes I know some businesses say well hey sorry that shipping that's out of our hands but you also gotta look at your accountability as into did you take proper measures to protect it knowing this could happen they did but it's not as good as what they used to so this was a down a step down from how they used to do it so guys I would suggest going back to the box if you're watching this I don't know why maybe it was a cost thing but oh you know, hey it is what it is and I'm again this is the last box we are getting from them for a while to we're moving on to a few other things so thanks a lot guys that is the BAM box uh, the $34.99 for the geek uh, the starting prices on most of their boxes are $34.99. They do have some that go up to uh, like $170 or something like that, depending on the box that you get. Like I said, the quality of the signatures are, it's there. It's just, I was a little disappointed that that could have been protected if they had sent it in their usual shipping. So now I have a little uh, photo that's damaged. Damaged because it was in the box, not in the box. And a lot of this, you can see how it's flat here and thick here. It's because they had all these items on one side creating that wider thickness, which put, left the edges a little more vulnerable to damage because, you know, there's no padding or anything in there. So I would have liked to have seen that better. You know, that just kind of increased the damage risk by doing it that way. Go back to the boxes, guys. All right, thanks a lot. Uh, catch us in the next opening. Uh, we're going to hit one of our more favorable ones, Pristine Auction. We got some items in there. I get a lot of comments about that. Do check out our promo code, Summer20, and all our website stuff. 20% off. That ends on... September 16th, so do take advantage of that. Even our quality control items, it's 20% off that. Hey, thanks a lot, and we'll see you on our next video. Until then, happy collecting and safe collecting. If you know of a business that you're curious about and would like us to check out, or if you have a business that you know of is really good and like to pass the word on, 
send it to us at info at the hobby table .com. Again, that's info at the hobby table .com.